What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Big Daddy Chuck. I know it's been a minute, but I'm gonna I'm try to make some beats today. I want to thank everybody that's been down for the ride, everybody that's been supporting the channel, the people that say I help them um, learn how to use the 404. And without further ado, I'm gonna cook some beats up and I'm gonna try to make some fire. So I'm gonna go ahead and record a sample onto my FL Studio. I got it routed through my interface and every time I get a sample and record it I usually have the SP303 effect on there because it just gives it a little extra crunch so I'm gonna go ahead and sample this and I'm gonna throw it in my Serato Studio Beta and I'm gonna try to export the sims I'm gonna try to get the vocals out of there so let's see how it goes so now that I have it in the Serato Studio Beta, which is free, and I've been recommending it to a lot of my producer homies. You could actually isolate the stems, you could isolate the vocals, the melody, the bass, and the drums. So I'm gonna go ahead and play it regular and show you what it sounds like, and then I'm gonna cut out the vocals. So I'm gonna go ahead and extract them. There's just so many possibilities. You could take the drums out, take out the bass. But I'm gonna just go ahead and leave everything in except for the vocals, because I'm really not trying to hear all that. So now that I have it on there, I'm gonna go ahead and re record it onto my SP so I could chop it up. Back. So now that I have it back on my SP, I'm going to go ahead and change the speed a little bit. Then I'm going to go ahead and chop it, shift, chop, and I'm going to do it, I think every... Every two, two beats. I'll be right back so now that I have them all in a little bank I'm gonna put them on the mute group shift 8 I already have some in the mute group I gotta take them out go back to your chops exit and then I'm gonna try to lay a pattern down on resample
have this part looped up. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna get some vocals in there because I also took another part of the sample, but I I put the vocals back on there. I think maybe it could be the hook. <laughs> So I'll just do the same thing. Start and Sign the pad, same thing. I mean, since I already have the other pattern laid down, I gotta put these into a mute group and take the other ones out the mute group. And then just do the same thing, resample. Lay it down. So now that I have that second part looped, I'm going to go ahead and mute those two channels or those two patterns just so I can play them together. And then I'll pretty much just perform it for you guys. I'm going to resample it and then show you guys the beat.
Let's go. All right, YouTube. Well, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. And I want to let y'all know I'm going to be dropping more videos again. I'm going to try to get back on my shit. So without further ado, it's your boy Big Daddy Chop. And I'm going to see y'all on the next one.